So welcome, Ben, back. So today we're going to be talking about being Black in Bournemouth. The reason I want to bring up this subject is because I've had numerous students come up to me and say, before they come to Bournemouth, they obviously had an idea, had a opinion or had a point of view of Bournemouth only being a majority, obviously Caucasian background. But obviously you've, you've lived in Bournemouth, you live in Bournemouth, you DJ in Bournemouth and you went to uni in Bournemouth. So for those students who may think Bournemouth is a very, obviously, one race um, kind of part of the country, what would, you, what would you say your experience is being Black in Bournemouth? No, I say, I say um, especially people that haven't ever visited the town, you'll notice that actually it's, very, it's a very multicultural town, as in there are certain areas, for instance, Charminster, um, there's a lot of Kurdish, a lot of Turkish, um, there's just just across Bournemouth there's there's a lot of black people as well so there's um you won't ever feel like oh I'm, I'm the only one like there's a lot of events um catered to to not only just to black people but to all races so it's it's yeah it's a very multicultural area do you think have you experienced what students would call obviously maybe um not like racism or do you think it's more of a it's a kind of a the general racism that happens across the world, or do you think it's very prominent in Bournemouth? No, no, no. I don't think there's any more or less here than there is anywhere else in, in the country, to be honest. For the students who obviously are looking for their spices and their, you know, maybe African dishes or Caribbean dishes or anywhere around the world, is Bournemouth somewhere where they can find it? Yes, it is definitely. And there's also a restaurant um, called Spice, um, which is a new Caribbean restaurant, been open about four or five months, which I actually own. Um, so if you want some of your home dishes, you can come there um yeah you'd think you'd enjoy that okay so if there's anything else you'd like to say as in maybe advice or maybe an opinion for the students who obviously have again maybe are worried about not being able to find their own culture and boom what would you say to them i'd say come visit and actually experience it for yourself even if you want to do that before you you make any choices around education or anything else come and come and actually experience it spend a weekend come with a couple of friends um, do your normal activities, whether you, whether you want to go out and party, whether you just want to go and see the town. Um, and then you can see it for yourself. I think that's probably the best way I can tell you anything. But when you come and see it, then it sort of it, it will be cemented in your mind that way.